Most of us, we've stayed dry, but there have been a few showers that pass through the region right around Marshall and Coldwater. You may be seeing a few light sprinkles there. It looks a whole lot worse than what it really is. It's more on the lighter side of things. And towards the lake shore, some thunderstorms have been rumbling through there. But nonetheless, a lot of this activity is diving to the east, southeast. And it's actually going to be with us off and on as we go throughout the day today. But we're not expecting anything severe, so that's some good news. Other than that, it's mild and muggy out there this morning. Relief is on the way, so that's some more good news. 68 degrees currently in Mason, Charlotte, and Jackson. Meanwhile, in Lansing, it is 70 degrees. The dew points overall. They're in the mid 60s. We're going to increase them slightly as we go throughout the day today. But the good news is, like I mentioned, we have relief just right around the corner. So we just have to hang tight here through the 10 o'clock hour. Some of us will get in on some sunshine. A few showers off to our south along and south of I-94, though, then 73 degrees through the 10 o'clock hour. Mid 70s at lunchtime. I think we'll still see a few breaks in our cloud cover, but then things change on us once again towards this afternoon, about mid afternoon and through the evening and over night hours we're tracking shower and thunderstorm chances round two as high temperatures top out right near 83 degrees for us. So overall, as I mentioned, this is round one. We actually have a cold front that is still well off to our west and all this activity is out ahead of it. We have quite a bit of moisture pooling in front of it. So overall, we will see this activity off and on as we go throughout the day today and then we'll finally see that cold front pass through tomorrow. So this is what it looks like through the 10 o'clock hour. Still having a hard time representing the energy that we are currently seeing on our satellite and radar, but nonetheless, we've seen a few pass through our southern tier counties. There is still a chance we may see those through the morning hours while the rest of us stay dry and some of us will get in on some sunshine too. As we make our way into the afternoon hours, you can certainly tell quite a bit of changes will be on tap for us. We're going to be dodging a few showers and thunderstorms. Again, nothing severe is expected for us today, and it's just going to be very hit and miss across the region. The cold front is still going to be off to our north northwest by this evening. We're not really expecting it to pass through until we get into the overnight hours, and once you wake up tomorrow morning, that cold front will be south of the area. But it looks like we could still see a few spotty showers early in the morning. And then all of the activity will be shifting out towards lunchtime. And then we're going to have a northwesterly wind on the back side of this. So you guessed it, a much cooler and drier air will be filtering back into the region. So that's our relief that we're going to get. Temperatures for tomorrow will be topping out in the mid 70s with a northwesterly wind. Thursday, a touch cooler, but we'll still hold on to quite a bit of sunshine. We'll see a few clouds pass through as well. But overall, we just have to get through this bump in the road. A few showers and thunderstorms off and on today. High temperature right near 83 degrees tonight. A few scattered showers and thunderstorms. Nothing severe either tonight as the overnight low falls into the mid 60s. A few showers may be around in the early morning hours and then everything will be clearing out for us. We'll end the day with some sunshine, but certainly cooler and lower humidity levels. Finally, right mid 70s for Wednesday, lower 70s for Thursday. Believe it or not, Thursday is actually the first day of meteorological fall and it's going to be feeling a little bit like fall with temperatures in the lower 70s with plenty of sunshine.